Welcome to Latino Life. I'm Graciela Moreno. Today we talk about battling the flu, why this season is so unique and what you should watch out for as kids head back to school. Plus the fight against asthma, the steps you can take to breathe a little easier. And the event honoring local farm workers, details on new opportunities coming their way. Also, getting fit with flamenco details on where you can sign up for some lessons. Well, you probably know someone who is homesick with the flu. This season, the virus is particularly intense, and Action News reporter Rick Montanez explains why health officials are concerned that flu cases will become more severe. You can say that's the sound of the season. The holidays are over, so are the vacations, but the flu virus is just starting to spread. The main strain that's circulating in, in, in each state is the H1N1 strain. ABC's chief medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, tells Action News the flu is headed our way. This year it started in the south and is now pushing toward California. Last week only six states had widespread flu activity. This week, it's 20. One of the things that could cut down on the risk is if people would stay home and keep their kids home when they're, when they're sick. Unique to the valley, this year's flu again will be met by soot-filled air. Tell me how you're feeling today. Pollution that allergist Dr. A.M. Aminian says is making his patients miserable. These particles, they rub against the bronchial tubes and they make it irritated and inflamed. Mm -hmm. Now, if you catch a cold, if you get exposed to a cold or a virus, that always makes it worse, and patients show their symptoms worse and they get sicker than usual. Schools across the valley head back to class over the next few days. They're all preparing for flu season with tons of hand sanitizer, and of course, they'll be watching the unhealthy air quality readings. Their health and safety is part of their education, and so we do make sure that we keep them as safe as possible, keeping them indoors when we need to, um, notifying parents when students are ill and need to go home. Russell oversees health services for Central Unified Schools. She says the district encourages students and staff to stay home sick when they need to. And doctors also say don't rush the recovery process. It can take a few weeks to get back to normal, but you risk getting more sick by overexposing yourself to outdoor pollution. Well, the flu season and bad air can also mean bad news for people with asthma. More than 20% of people in Fresno County have chronic, have this chronic disease, and one local group is working to help people breathe a little bit easier. And joining me today from the Central California Asthma Collaborative is program coordinator Nunu Sixe and director of outreach and communications, Destiny Rodriguez. Thank you, ladies, so much for being with us today. Thank, Thank you for, for having us. us. Absolutely. Destiny, let's start with you. What is the mission of the California Asthma, Central California Asthma Collaborative? Well, our mission is um, basically we want to reduce um, childhood asthma here in the mm -hmm. valley, um, but we want to work on a regional level to develop stakeholders um, to better um, improve the quality of life and health for the valley residents here that are suffering from asthma and other respiratory diseases. Why is this region particularly affected? Why so many people? I have some information here that says 20% in Fresno County, 20% of the folks in Fresno County have some, some level of asthma, and in Kings County and South Valley, even a little bit higher. Yes. Um, the reason that we have such um, high um, prevalence rates of asthma here in the San Joaquin Valley is um, because of the, the geography of the San Joaquin Valley. Mm -hmm. um, being in a basin, uh, a lot of the air pollution um, gets trapped here in the valley and it, um, it makes it harder for um, winds to take it out of the valley. So a lot of the, the residents, unfortunately, because of where we live, we're breathing this air in in the summer. Um, you know, it cooks right. all of this um, polluted uh, mess that we're, that we're breathing. Mm -hmm. And in the wintertime, you know, everyone wants to use their chimneys and do bonfires and things like exactly. that. So all of these, these little things that people do, I mean, it, it affects everybody on a, on a regional level and definitely on a local level. I guess we don't, we don't realize that it all adds up. If we're all doing just a little bit to contribute to this bad air quality, then suddenly that's why so many of us get sick. Now, air pollution, obviously we're talking about this, is a factor. So what should folks do? Well, in, in very man, many instances, you know, we, um, we ask residents to watch out for like different like, um, like for example, the RAN program, you know, which gets notifications of their quality. Um, also, you know, um, we ask for the residents to uh, watch out for like the burn 
days, you mm -hmm. know, when to burn and when not to burn, you mm -hmm. know, because the particulate matter that could be released to the air could cause, you know, a bad air day. And, and this past few weeks, we have experienced like a high um, number of uh, bad air quality days. Yeah, we've know. had a lot of no burn days and people really just need to take those seriously, right? There's a reason mm -hmm. why you put those out and people really need to watch out for those because those are particularly bad, bad days, right? And I know that you're also working in schools and with parents, right? Yes, um, a program that, um, that we work on is called the Healthy Air Living Schools Program. It's a really great program um, that we work on a regional level with all the schools here in the San Joaquin Valley. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's a three-component program. The first component, um, as Nunu said, is um, RAN, which is, it stands for the Real, um, Real Time Air Advisory Network. Mm -hmm. um, it, it basically, you, uh, you sign up to receive notifications, and once levels, um, air quality levels reach unhealthy, um, you get notifications of this, so then you can make um, better informed decisions on um, what to do as far as physical activity. So it's really great for schools, um, especially for athletic directors, nurses, health aides. Um, mm -hmm. So that's, that's a, a very great program that we have. Another component of that program is the air quality flags. I'm not sure if, if uh, you know, you've seen some of the air mm -hmm. quality flags mm -hmm. flying around uh, in most of the, the school campuses. Yes. And um, that's just a, a visual component um, for the community and for the school and the students to know, um, you know, if it's a green is for good, um, yellow is for moderate, orange is for unhealthy. Actually, today we're at unhealthy today, so today would be an orange flag day. Yeah, so important to really look out for those when you're dropping your kids off from school, mm -hmm. picking them up and whatnot. Now, very quickly, Latinos, are, are we particularly vulnerable to asthma? Here in the Valley, we are um, due to, like she said, the demographics of, you know, Fresno and also because a lot of the Latino community here in the Valley, you know, they're um, they're in the agricultural, you know, uh, farming, yeah, okay. mm -hmm. you know, industry. So a mm -hmm. lot of Hispanics, you know, suffer from it because um, they're exposed to, like, you know, if they're in a farm, you know, they're exposed to all the pesticides, all the bad air, the dust, you know, that it's surrounding them. Mm -hmm. And also because um, there's, like, a lack of access of um, health care, you know, there's a lot of, uh, um, under, you know, un underinsured or uninsured, you know, um, mm -hmm. population in mm -hmm. the valley. So, so part of your collaborative, I would imagine, is, is doing specific outreach to them, right? Correct. Yes. To get them more involved and let, let them be aware of some of your services. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So much. Thank you, ladies, for being with us. Thank you for all that very valuable information. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. <laughs> all right. Good luck. Now, if you would like more information on this fight against asthma, you can contact the Central California Asthma Collaborative at the phone number that we, you see on your screen. You can also go online, centralcalasthma.org, and you can get more information at abc30.com. Just click on Latino Life. And parents can get tips on how to prepare their kids for school. That's coming up. Also, the event honoring and helping, <coughs> excuse me, Valley farm workers learn the kind of services that are available to help them during the tough economic times.